Hi again, it's Margaret, and I am so excited about the video that I'm coming to you with. It is a Spanish soup, perfect for summer, called gazpacho. It is fresh vegetables and yummy, and I'm invited to a little party tomorrow, so I'm making it today so that it can literally chill overnight and be perfect for the little boating party we're going on. So, here's what you'll need, first of all, to make this. And let me just preface, if there's anything you don't like, if there's anything that you don't agree with, is there anything that doesn't com that compromises your system of digestion or whatever, don't use it because this is so versatile and the flavors are delicious. So just use whatever works great for you, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do is first of all, I'm gonna use some tomatoes and I'm not exactly sure the measurements yet. I'll po post them below when I tell you how it turns out. But I'm gonna just start with a couple of gorgeous tomatoes and chop them up and I'm using today a food processor. Some people use their blender and I could have used the Vitamix, but to be quite honest, I want a little I want a little consistency to it. I don't want it to be completely liquid. I'd rather it have a little crunch to it. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to add some diced vegetables before I serve it tomorrow. So I'm gonna chop up a little bit of cucumber in cubes, just a very small amount, and top it with some fresh herbs before I serve it tomorrow. Just so it has that little crunch factor. You know me, I like crunchy stuff. It, it's like I'm not satisfied with a meal unless I have a great crunch. We had some beautiful tomatoes at the market. They were stunning. And I'm just using, I've used one, and there's another one. I think I can fit all this in. I may have to kind of do it in batches and add more, which is fine. So I'll just do it as we, as we use it. So first of all, I have one and a half tomato in there. I'm gonna also add red bell pepper. I have a half of a red bell pepper. Some people like green bell pepper. I don't, I have trouble digesting that, so I never use green bell pepper. It doesn't like me. I have some fresh thyme that I grew myself. You gotta pull it in the right direction. And I'm just gonna put literally about a half of a sprig. It's flavorful. I also have some celery. This was two celery stalks. Don't know how well, I'm not that familiar with this uh, food processor, so I'm not sure how it's gonna do with celery, but we'll give it a try and see how it goes. I also have green onion. These were two green onions, and um, I do like to use the stems. I think they have flavor and they have a lot of vitamins in the green part. So don't ignore your green parts and your vitamins because they're good for you. I also have a cucumber. All of the really good vitamins are in the peel and this does call for it to be peeled, but to be honest, I'm not gonna do it because I'm not willing to sacrifice the veg, the, not the vegetables, the vitamins that are in the skin of the cucumber just so that it looks pretty. I'm not, I'm not here to make pretty food. I'm here to make delicious food that's healthy and nutritious. So why on earth would I sacrifice the deliciousness of the cucumber and the, where all the good stuff is? So here we go. I've got some of that in there. Now for the liquid, I have an organic creamy tomato soup. This is one of the key ingredients that really helps it to be richer and to be uh, a little more fortifying is to use some of this. Make sure you get an organic one and there's lots of creamy tomato soups that you can choose from and just make sure it's vegan because, well, you, if you're vegan, make sure it's vegan. Double check your label. Okay, we have that in there. Now, I am not, <laughs> the mowers are here today and they happen to pick right now to mow, so I hope you can't hear it. You can either use red wine vinegar, which is what the traditional Spanish uh, gazpacho soup calls for, or you can use a little healthier version, which is the apple cider vinegar. I am not a huge fan of vinegar. It kind of, uh, it's a little much for me, so literally I'm putting two capfuls in. If you like vinegar and you don't have any trouble digesting it, go for it, but that's it for me. I just, I don't do it well. So I would rather use this, a little fresh lime. I like 
lime juice. I think it brightens a dish and adds a lot of flavor. And I can handle lime juice. I, I just, ugh, the vinegar gets to me after a while. So this was a beautiful lime. And I'm gonna just, I don't care if pulp goes in there too. I, it's just gonna be more deliciousness, more flavor. And so I've got about a half a lime in there so far. Next, I've got some pink Himalayan salt. It does make a difference if you use salt, what kind that you use. The pink Himalayan still has the original minerals that your body needs that's found in salt. I actually kind of have a lower blood pressure and I, I, I crave salt. It's something my body does want. So if I'm gonna have salt, I'm gonna use the best. I also have multi-grain peppercorns that I love to get. They're red and green and black and they're just, it just gives a great flavor to the pepper. Next, I have a little bit of olive oil. The recipe calls for a lot originally and I'm not a big fan of fat. I, I like a little bit because it makes my body feel better, but I don't like a lot. Okay, so let's see if this food processor can handle what I've just done to it. If not, we're pulling out the Vitamix. I'm just gonna pulse it. As I said, I want chunks. I don't want a, a too smushy of a soup. Smushy of a soup. Too blended of a soup. Doesn't that sound nicer? That's pretty. That is really pretty. <laughs> Except for the large piece of onion sticking out. I'm going to check it for taste. The key to this also is you've got to let it sit. Obviously the flavors will marry together and taste really good, but you have to give it time to do that. That's why I'm making it now for tomorrow. That is delicious. I haven't had gazpacho in so long. I love it. Yum, I'm not changing a thing. That was great. What I'm gonna do is let it chill and then I'm gonna come back and taste it with you and see how it goes. So remember, this is just for two people. So just add more of everything if you wanna make it for a larger group. And talk about good, talk about handy, throw it in a, in a little cooler thing and take it to, to work and have it when you wanna eat raw and healthy, but you don't have time, this is perfect. So, gazpacho, it's so good. I'm gonna chill it and we'll be right back. Okay, the soup has chilled, and as you can see, I filled it to the top because I'm actually going to, there's gonna be six of us now, so luckily, I found out in time and I kept increasing the batch, doing the same thing that I did before in the first part of the video. So you could see what a regular double batch would be for two people. But it's chilled and we're going to see how. It really only has to chill about two to three hours. And the first batch I did was chilled that long and turned out, let's find out how it turned out. This is so good and so fresh and it's raw. All of the ingredients are so delicious and the vegetables and whew, it's one of my favorite soups and it's guilt-free. You could leave the olive oil out. This will be the only fat that I get and you see how little I used considering how much we made. So here we go. That is so good. It's like you just sat in the middle of your garden and started eating everything around you. It's fresh, it's bright with the different flavors. It's, it's just great. And I left it crunchy enough that I don't actually have to cube the cucumbers and put it in there. I think I will just to add a little happy to each disc. I'll probably sprinkle it on top. And you can also top it with some fresh basil, which I will do too and it's just delicious. The good part is it can sit in the refrigerator for two days and it just keeps getting more rich and more delicious. So I hope you treat yourself to the bounty that is summer, that is fresh vegetables, and enjoy this gazpacho. It's a centuries of old recipe and the reason it's stuck, along, stuck around so long is because how good it really is. So I hope you take the time to enjoy the bounty. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And if you have any other requests or any other videos you'd like to see,
just put it down in the description box. And as always, thanks!